Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today we're reviewing Star Wars The Black Series, 6-inch R2-D2. This figures from the first wave of 6-inch Black Series in 2013, and the retail price is $19.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Just like the other 6-inch Black Series figures, R2-D2 is a brand new sculpt. He's a pretty darn good figure, but I wouldn't say he's the ultimate R2-D2. On the back of the figure you can see they have multiple panels and details sculpted into the main torso, just like the front, and the main painting details include white, silver, and blue. The head sculpt is really where it's at when it comes to this astromech droid sculpt. Not because of the sculpted details or paint applications, but because of the features that it has, which I'll get into more detail later in the review. Just like the back of the figure, the front of the torso has multiple panels and details, which are painted in blue and silver. On both of the main feet is two wires, which are painted in copper. On the sides is a little bit of black dry brushing, added in for weathering. Just like the torso, the legs are also fully detailed, and they also have silver and blue paint applications. The blue panels on the side of the legs can be removed, which allows you to attach his prequel rocket boosters. There's also two opening panels on the torso, including a retractable grasping arm, and a retractable computer interface arm. When you rotate his head counterclockwise, it reveals the retractable third leg. On the bottom of all three legs is two wheels, which allow for easy movement across hard surfaces. The dome is rather nicely detailed, but the paint application is a little bit spotty here and there. And lastly is the three removable panels from the top of the dome, which allow you to attach multiple accessories including Luke's lightsaber hilt, a periscope, and a sensor. Weapons and accessories include multiple detachable gadgets, and the articulation for R2-D2 includes a swivel dome, swivel legs, and hinged feet. So for about $20, you get one well-made droid. My only issues I have with him is that quality control and the paint applications could have been a little bit better, and he's about 20% smaller than what he should actually be. Other than that, He's a perfect R2-D2, with a ton of customization options, and he makes a great display figure. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news. Beep, weep, weep, beep, beep, boop. <laughs> oh boy.